Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Developer Commentary. I am Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And this is a very special episode. Is it a very special episode? This is a very special Are we going to talk about drugs? <laughs> yeah. It's an after-school special episode. Uh, this is a very special episode for me because this is when I find out if everything I did on this game will disappoint Ooh, me. Ooh, that's a good shot of the opening segment. That's yeah, that really cool? good. It's a nice, it's a nice uh, uh, opening bit. So this level, um, I designed a fair amount of. Right. I didn't design the enemy segments because uh, I wasn't good at that yet. But that whole grind rail segment here. It's all you. All me. Okay. Um, Max coded this level. Yes, he did. Uh, this was the one level he did that was not an arena. arena. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he coded that super awesome effect that you see. That is really good. Train staking, yeah. Because we had to figure out where the trains would go. Uh, when they hit the end of their rail, and Max, right. Max really stepped up with that one. So that's the bonus of being in a sci-fi universe, is you can do that kind of stuff, and it doesn't feel cheap. Yeah, you get a lot of leeway yeah. to uh, um, to to just sort of wave your hands, and, and shit works. You know, you can have levitating platforms in the middle of nothing. You can have crazy uh, wormholes that trains go into. You know, whatever. Uh, but first, I think we have to do the enemy segment. And have to get to. Long. Yeah, first we get to do the enemy segment. Uh, first, I get to change your shitty ass controls. This is where the protopets have now uh, gone crazy. Yes, the the plot has been revealed, but we don't know. You know, we don't know everything yet. Oh, giant clank! Okay, let's not do that right now. <laughs> well, let's, let's focus on this. Let's what do, can we uh, possibly give you in the giant? Oh, whatever. I don't remember. Especially given that it's around a ninety degree turn. Because I know the hypnomatic part is down on the grind rail segment. Uh, no, it's at the end of the enemy segment, I think. There's... No... Well, well, let's do the grind rail segment. You want to do the grind rail segment? No, there's two first? hypnomatic parts. Okay, whatever. Let's do it. Let's All go. Right. This is the test. This is the moment of truth for Mike Stout. Oh. That's pretty cool that you're, like, you're, you're grind rail... I like the way they zoom in and they yeah. zoom out. I, like, I love these sideways jumps and... You might want to put on a weapon. Or you can wrench it. Oh, Lancer, I, I is good for, Lancer is good for this part, by I the way. Co I coated these little rings. Oh, yeah, the Lancer. Well, I'll do that. It's not as good as the Lancer, but yeah. Well, I don't have to put the lava gun on my quick select. So. Plus, we need experience for the lava gun, right? Sure. Works out well. All right. Yeah, those little, so, would those you little say... life preservers... Uh, I, I, I coded those. I got that art from God knows where <laughs> and just made them bob a little. Oh. I'm, I'm having fun, though. This is this is fun. So would you say you put more time into this than the other stuff, or you just think this is probably some of your better work? This, I, I had learned a lot by the time I did this one. Uh, I was really passionate about this segment. I really wanted to do those trains, uh -huh. uh, and I had to do a lot of work to get them in the game. Uh, so I did spend a lot of time on it, I think I spent about as much time on this level as I did on the the, the one with the squirrels. Okay. But uh, I I think that this one was just sort of yielded better results overall. Um, so the <laughs> well, the, I mean, and also one of the big things we're working is Max had been I don't want to say stuck on the arenas this whole time, but he had been doing the arenas the whole time. Right. And he, he was, had really he was really really eager to get going on an actual level. Right. So he was super hyped about doing this. Yeah, doing he, this level. He was really, he was really happy to be doing the level, and uh, he was willing to put in a ton of special case stuff. Nice. Look at that. See, the trains are smoking because they're out of control. Too. Right. And look, he made them go down off the edge there and uh, explode. Like, yeah, he he put a lot of work into this. That's probably why it turned out great, right? Because Max was. Just willing to do. He was all this. passionate. He was, you know, ready to go. And uh, this is a horrible camera right here, though. Uh, the uh, so the main, mo like, uh, especially in the later Ratchet games, there are really good cameras on the grind rails because they're one of the few places we take control of the camera. Uh -huh. um, we had the ability to do that in this game, but didn't because it's a gigantic. Oh, pain in oh the so close. We had the ability to do that on this level and didn't... Well, I get to play this segment again. I'm actually kind of jazzed. <laughs> You're going to need to use the Lancer this time, though. You're, okay. You're almost at the lava gun. All right. Let's, let's do that. Don't put it on your quick slide. You can just equip it. Um, what was I saying? Uh, I don't know. 
Sorry. Yeah, anyway, Max is awesome. Attention. That's that's sort of the great the, guy. That's the uh, great guy. Great work. The theme of this is Max is awesome. I'm sure I was saying something super interesting. I didn't do the effect on these things, by the way. Uh, Max made them look cool. Right. I I just had them bob and put them there because I had to because uh, uh, Ma Max had a very limited amount of time to work on this, so I did a bunch of stuff just to sort of save him time and let him do the really cool stuff. Right. Because uh, I was, you know, I, I had the ability to program, but I was not a professional programmer, right? And there's a lot of stuff that uh, people who are just really good at this and do this all the time could do that I just had no no capability of. And effects was one of those areas. Max was very good at effects. Very, very good. This was in the era when, when programmers still did all of the effects in the game. I mean, now nowadays, uh, artists have tools and they, they create all the effects, but back Back when we were making this game, programmers did it all. Um, what uh, can you can you talk a little bit about what kind of tools you had to to make effects? None. Uh, <laughs> you had the power of code. You basically just coded them up. We didn't have too much. Uh, we didn't have too much support. I mean, a lot of it was just creating textures, and that's the main reason programmers did effects because we didn't have a lot of tools. So you just had to do a lot of number twiddling, and. Uh, very few pe people have the patience required to just sit there and twiddle numbers oh. all, uh, all day long. Mike, what are you doing? You got over anxious. You're going to need ammo. Well, all right, you can just go. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, I'll get it this time. But, yeah, I mean, not a lot of people have the patience to just sit there and twiddle numbers back and forth all day. So it, it fell upon programmers because that's all we do all day anyway. So, and, uh, oh, yeah, yeah so... Twiddling numbers. Oh, also, uh, there was really no way for an artist to twiddle numbers in in engine without editing, you know, right. using the debugger anyway. Right. They, when they have to sit at your desk all day. Pretty much, or they would have to learn Visual Studio, which nobody wants to do. <laughs> oh, that's true. Um, this uh, this level, by the way, uh, uh, I think Sean Sean Whistler, one of the other designers at Insomniac. Told me this was his favorite grind rail segment ever. Really? Yeah, and then he he uh, he later designed my favorite grind rail segment ever. In uh, it was in the downloadable ratchet game, uh, Quest for Booty. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. That's, you know, enough said. So you know what? I I uh, I got sort of an an anti snow beast award for this. My peers <laughs> told me that this was as good as grind rails get. Oh, that was one of the reasons why uh, uh, I uh, was one of the reasons why I fought Moose so hard. Probably when he wanted to make the grind rails better, because I had a vested interest in making sure this was as good as they ever got. Right. Uh, and for a long time, I think that was true. Jump, 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 jump. There we go. Oh, so this cutscene is a has a Jack and Daxter joke in it. Is it this one or is it the other one? Yeah, it's this one. Sorry. <laughs> I had never played Jack and Daxter uh, at this point. So that just sound, seemed weird. So I saw this cutscene and I was like, what? And I, every time I saw it, I was like, what? Why is... It seemed weird to me. <laughs> and after we had released, people were like, oh, it's a Jack and Daxter reference. The Insomniac and Naughty Dog must be really good friends. I was like, oh. That's we, ha we haven't talked to, about Insomniac and Naughty Dog and kind of how, how we had this... Uh, friendly competitive relationship. Which yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, let me fill up on these. Why don't you start? Uh, I mean, I don't know too much about it. Uh, they used to. I live in my own be... little world where I'm the best. So, <laughs> so they used to. Uh, uh, they used to work in pretty much the same office when they were at uh, at Universal. At Universal, yeah. And Mark Cerny was the producer of both both titles. Oh man, it's gonna be all I can do to sort of pay attention to this. Well, that's cool. Go, Max. Um, what do we want to upgrade? Synthenoids and Mini Rocket, I think, is what we really want to upgrade. Yeah, we don't really want to upgrade the love game. Yeah, exactly. These little robot tourists. There's my robot tourists again. <laughs> oh, man, this level is beautiful. It's do a very good-looking level. Do you remember who did the art in this level? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't work on this level. You did, though. Why yeah. are you asking me? Oh man, I whoever did the art on this level, I'm really sorry. Because it's beautiful. I like those trees. I want to say it was either Lloyd or Craig. Uh, 
but uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty trees. Huh? I think I'm gonna go back and get some more ammo. You know what? The mini rocket's not the best for these guys. Like, I should have, I really should have been using the mini rocket more in Grelvin. And then this is a good level for the bouncer. Oh, it's a generator. That's why I was fighting protopets forever. So that's sort of the that's sort of the thing. This is a really good level for the bouncer, not so much a level for the mini rocket two. Right. Whereas Grelvin was a better level for the mini rocket two. But uh, but so we we just reversed them. Is that what yeah. we did? Oh god! And now I have to go buy them all individually. Well, we're really only using three weapons at this point, so it's not so bad. Alright. Um, we are getting a ton of money, though. On oh, the little mailboxes drop mail when you blow them up. Yeah. That was a good touch. I like that. Oh, God. It's your rocket pack, dude. It's messing me up. It's great, the rocket pack. So far, my soul is still intact. Whoa, that's a crazy lightning effect. Yeah, look at that. I like these little guys. These little guys walk like they got no, not, not a care in the world. They're just strolling up to you like, I'm about to beat your ass, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Oh look, and they, they still come and attack you as lower torsos. <laughs> that is a good... well done, Max. Well done. Wow, I'm getting beat, man. Lack of armor is yeah. starting to really hurt. We really need that armor. Is there, is there some help around here? Probably the easiest way for us to get bulls is to do space combat, but who wants to do that? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, okay. Bouncer! Bouncer it up! I love those dropships, man. Those are cool. Yeah, very cool. Oh, and the proto pets come out of little mailboxes. This is cool. You know what? I I designed the pick uh, up some ammo. You're right. I uh, I did design the geometry for this level. This is like the one of the first paper maps I ever did. Really? Yeah. Uh, like I designed the little houses and the mailboxes and stuff. Uh, I didn't do the enemy segments, or not the enemy segments. I didn't do the enemy setups. Uh, those were, uh, I think, Leslie. A little, little manhole. Very cute uh, set of in introductions for the protopets. Popping out of mailboxes. Doesn't look like a mailbox though, does it? It's a space mailbox. Space mailbox, yes, that's important. Well, at least we're getting experience for the bouncer. Yeah, I know. Well, you can use a mini rocket tube up here, and then you'll get some experience for the mini rocket tube. It's almost upgraded. After that, though, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to be we're gonna need some money there. is what we're going to do. Oh. Bullshit. Uh, so I also, I didn't design these enemies. Uh, but I I probably set them up. So at least there's that. I'm going to pull out the big guns now. Yeah, that's right. Who's still standing? No one. There's some legs behind you. Okay, I remember the artist, who, whoever it was, being very angry at me for this design. Because <laughs> it's like, wait, you gotta go inside and then there's trees? And like, why are you trying to kill me? I, I probably was trying to kill him. Oh, that guy's throwing grenades. Yep. And he's across a gap. He asks a different question. You see? It's all design. Oh, man. What is this? Just long jump it. <laughs> watching that bar go up, 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 up is pretty fun. I'm watching the frame rate go down, 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 down. Whoa. Oh, oh. There's a continue point, I think. No. Nope. No continue point. Why would there be a continue point? That would be pro. It's time to man up, Mike. What am I manning up doing? Just get this done. You're doing this. You're doing it this time. So far, though, is this as good as you uh, as you had remembered it in your mind's eye? Yeah, this is a good level. If I fail this time, Tony. Oh. oh. <laughs> what were you saying, Mike, about you failing? Here's the controller. 